hello everyone now the time is to create this uh, full uh, create this booking into the database so our title is what is the title so, so we are getting this from this uh, request title and uh, what is the stall date okay let me this is our database column name and we are getting this uh, from this start date start date okay copy this paste it here and make this so uh, end date not this one what's uh, going oh it's going upper so let me make this separately and it so copy this and paste it here so now we are getting these three okay and after this i want to return it right return back why i want to return this let me uh, explain i will explain this so i am saving this into the uh, booking variable and I will return this uh, <coughs> variable back right so it's a return response and uh, then I want to return this into a JSON format so this one is booking so I'm returning this uh, when uh, first I'm creating this uh, booking and then I'm returning this back right so when this store method will uh, get return success it will return this booking and uh, here I will receive this response right so the booking is uh, created and it will return the its title its uh, date and stuff like that so let's go here and uh, check that is it returning something okay and uh, okay where is my web page it's there so let me hide this so <clears throat> open the console here okay and uh, give it a refresh T uh, test okay save changes and it's still it's throwing 500 error why because we don't have any fillable properties right so i don't know what's the error but i know what is the error so let me check that yes it's a fillable error okay so let's go to the go to the, our booking model okay and here i need to make this fillable because I face this error a lot of times, so I know that why its error is happening. So here we need to add a title, and it's a start date, and then the third one is end date. So here we need to uh, save this. Uh, sorry for my call, and uh, go here and click on this okay sorry for my call so i added this added them into the fillable right so let me hide this and go there okay so let's click on this save changes and it's still throwing the error what is the error so it's throwing general feed start date does not have a default value so it means that we are not getting start date from the from this uh, request start date so let me go there check that uh, is it any typo start it end it so go there start it is it no it is correct why it's throwing this error uh, request to start oh i misspelled this spelling okay so it's a uh, it's the wrong spelling of full database column so that's why it's not entering save this and uh, yes it's trend success which so means that our there is no error so it means that it's uh, added this record into the database so let's go to the database and check that and yes the test is added there right so now the time is to uh, uh, close this model and check that uh, there is no event so when i will give it a refresh it will add this event here right yes it's added there because i added this from 10 but i do i want to display this when i save this at the runtime so so that's why i'm returning this here right so i return this and let's go here and in the success function i want to render this uh, response into the calendar so here uh, let me uh, call this uh, calendar object calendar okay dot uh, full calendar and in the full calendar i need to uh, call a refetch event refetch events okay and uh, which events i need to mistake them here so let me view them from the documentation that uh, uh, how to oh it's not uh, telling us because it's uh, uh, rendering uh, it's refetch event to all events so we don't want to refetch all events you want to fetch only those events 
which we created right now so if we have a, a 2000 or a 500 events so our calendar will uh, take more time to load this right so i don't want to refresh all events i want to uh, refresh only one we created right so only render those event here so how we can do this so let me watch it uh, from my previous uh, code and uh, yes the it's a render event function okay so it's a render events and then we need to define this in a json object not an array right so let me uh, make this a json object okay and here i need to first define the title so what is the title so I, uh, in our case the title would be the response dot title because it's coming from the response and the second attribute is start so it's a starting date and it's a response uh, dot uh, start date it's not uh, it's a start date okay and the third one is end and uh, this end uh, uh, contain this oops response dot uh, end date okay save this one give it a refresh and uh, check that uh, click on this and uh, say that uh, another another title and open the console for uh, catching any error okay console and uh, here i'm going to create this event right so save changes and yes so it's added in the database but it's throwing that cannot read undefined has time so uh, the time is not fitting in this calendar so let me check that i think i format to change this time format no i did not change this format so uh, it's a start and so it's oh why i am doing this typo here start so it i missed this t so that's why it's not there so let me add another event and uh, here I want to add this event to testing again and again <laughs> okay click on this save and yes now our testing again and again is added here so now we need to when we uh, create any events we want to uh, hide this model right so when the event is uh, injected here so we want to uh, let me make this before this so uh, our what is the name of our model so our it's a booking model okay and we want to hide our model so it's a hide is a function okay save this one give it a refresh and check that is it working uh, uh, test okay save changes and yes test is there but our model is not closing properly no 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 oh sorry i call this a wrong function so let me make this correct so it's a model hide save this one go to the web browser give it a refresh and click on this so it's a uh, call hadi test okay click on this save changes and yes hadi test is added there so our model is also closing properly so it's so uh, exactly working as we want so we successfully implemented that uh, how we can add the event in the calendar so in the next videos we will uh, cover the events like uh, how we can delete the event how we can change the colors and stuff like that so i will meet you in the next video bye bye